Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for oxygen, and we're talking about molecular oxygen, O2 here. So we start with the Lewis structure. Each of these oxygens has eight valence electrons. We have two, four, six, eight. And because with oxygen there's only two elements here, it really can only be in a line, a linear molecular geometry. But let's look at that. So let's say this is one of our oxygen atoms, and then we add another, and it's in a straight line. It's linear. If we added lone pairs, they would go on one side, and we'd actually have lone pairs here too. And you can see they've spread out, but they're on the ends too. We still have that straight line here. We have a linear molecular geometry for O2, molecular oxygen. When we have molecules with more than just two atoms, it's a little more complicated. And you can use a table like this here, based on what we call steric number, how many things are attached to the central atom, to figure out the molecular geometry. And you can watch how to do that in one of my other videos. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry or shape for oxygen, O2, molecular oxygen. Thanks for watching.